Hi, so in this video we're going to start looking at compound interest. Now, this is actually the second video in the series and in the previous video I looked at this particular question which was somebody had £4,500, they were going to be paid 4% compound interest and it's going to go into a bank account for three years how much would they have at the end of the three year period. Um, we did that using a table and I mentioned in the previous video that this time we'll start to do exactly the same question but use a formula. Hopefully we're going to get to the same answer. Uh, if you want to have a look at the question it's in the description box just below. Uh, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, have a look at the playlist or you can visit mathsrap.co.uk and there's quite a lot of information on the site as well as a quick test with these sorts of problems so you can have a go at them for yourself. They're aimed at round about level B, GCSE, something like that. Okay, so uh, a table is one way of doing it. Uh, it's fairly straightforward and relatively uh, easy to, to work through. However, if um, you can and you do remember, then there is actually a formula that you can use for calculating these sorts of questions. Now, the formula I would tend to use is... Um, I'm going to try to put this into terms that are relatively straightforward. So I'm going to put starting amount which is going to be the, in this particular case, the um, four and a half thousand pounds. And that's going to be uh, multiplied, is it going to be? Yeah, of course it is. Uh, starting about, it's going to be multiplied by the multiplier, which is in this particular case, the 4% compound. And that's to the value of N, which is the number of years, which is in this particular case, is three years. Okay, so let's start putting some numbers in place. So the first thing is, is the starting amount is um, 4,500 and that's going to be multiplied by the multiplier. Well the multiplier is 1.04. Now the reason it's 1.04 is because effectively this is 104%. Uh, I'm just going to put this off to one side. I'll just put it down the bottom here. This is this bit is 104%. In other words, it's 100%, which is the starting amount, and then 4% additional that you're going to get. Well, 104%, if we write that as a fraction, we can write that as 104 divided by 100, because that's what percent means. It means divided by 100. Well, if we divide something by 100, then what we're going to do is move the decimal point across. So the decimal point currently is here. So there's 104, it's currently there. Because I'm dividing by 100, I'm going to move two decimal places. So once, twice. So in other words, that gives me 1.04. So the multiplier is 1.04. I hope that's okay. And uh, you can, obviously, if that's 105, you can do exactly the same process. Um, the N number is the three years. In this particular case, it's the number of years. So it's 1.04 to the power of 3, which is the same as saying 1.04 times 1.04 times 1.04. Um, and if we multiply all of that by 4,500, then that will give me the amount after three years. So the amount after three years, okay, is going to be equal to 4,500 times 1.04 to the power of three. And that's going to give me a grand amount of 5061.888. And if I round that to two decimal places, that's going to be £5,061.89p, which I think is the same number that we came to when we used the table before. There are merits in doing both uh, ways. If you can remember the formula, it's quite quick and simple to do. If you remember the table, it's not a problem at all, but sometimes just be a little bit careful with calculation errors that might creep in. Uh, so there's quite a lot of number crunching that goes into working with tables. Mm. But the formula will work very well for you. Um, I hope that's okay. Uh, please do add a comment below. Uh, have a look at the post on MathsRap or subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.